Ivan Butkovsky is a coal miner who can hardly make ends meet. He spent the night at the barricade ready to prevent anyone from storming the security building seized by pro-Russian protesters in Lugansk more than a week ago. He's spinning his hopes for a brighter future on the men holed up inside the building. This is the only way to make our voices heard. My wife is unemployed. It is hard to live while they say they are terrorists. They are here to protect us. The right wing in Kiev also has weapons. I don't trust Prime Minister Yatsenyuk and I'm scared about the future. Like Ivan, many here are angered that the government labeled the protesters as terrorists. Ukrainian forces are more visible outside of the urban areas. At this stage, their main mission is to make sure that the weapons seized by the pro-Russian protesters do not travel from city to city. And to retain control of the main road that links the Russian border to the regional capital of Donetsk. But the pro-Russian protesters are getting bolder by the day. And they have also set up their own checkpoints along this same road. An airfield on the outskirts of Slavyansk was also taken over. It was allegedly used to bring in soldiers from western Ukraine. Many of the protesters say they are deeply linked to Russia. Despite several warnings from the government, they remain defiant, saying they won't back down until their demands for a federal Ukraine is met. For them, it's the only way to protect their Russian identity from a government they fear is steering the country in a direction they don't want to go in. Hoda Belhamid, Al Jazeera, in eastern Ukraine.